Hi guys and welcome to another Divi WordPress theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well today we're going to create this little blurb module or icon and text reveal on Hover. Really easy to do. We can use all the built-in features of Divi. There's no custom coding. So let's get started. To do this I'm going to enable the Visual Builder. Once enabled, let's go to where we want to work. I've just added a new row here with three columns. And the first thing I'm going to do is just add a blurb module. So we've got an image and some text. Oh, actually, I'm going to use an icon. There's a blurb module right there. All these light blue modules, the light blue ones, come as standard with Divi. Divi's absolutely awesome, keeps getting better and better. And there's more than enough to get started for just about any sort of site. If you want to take it for a test drive, you can do so from my affiliate link below this video. So let's add our blurb module. And I'm going to change the image to an icon. So let's go to image and icon, flip the little use icon button, choose whatever it is icon you'd like to use. I'm going to use one of the solid ones down here. It doesn't really matter which one for this today. Okay, and I'm going to just pop over to my design tab. And let's fill up image and icon. Let's make that sort of light green like everything else on this site. Uh, don't want to circle my icon. Top's fine. Alignment's fine. Text. Let's just align that centrally. I'll just leave it just like that. Let's give our little blurb module a little background color so if we go back to content and uh, let's see let's see I had a little light green color I was using just now I wonder if that's still in there yeah it's still a little bit too dark for me so let's go in here I'm going to pull the opacity down a little bit That way, we'll, when we put the image in, you'll be able to see a little something behind there as well. OK. I'll give that text a bit of padding, because I want it to be the same size as our other one there. We could give it a fixed height, but I think if I give it the same padding as I gave to the other one, it'll be the same. So we'll go to spacing. And I'll give it 20 pixels. Just type in 20. It'll put in the PX for you. Hit the little chain. It'll do the opposite side for you. There we go. OK, so we've got the basics of our blurb module, but we only really want that to appear when we hover on it. And when we're not hovering on it, we want to see an image of some sort. Now to do that, let's just save our blurb module. I'm going to go back into the row. This is very similar to what we did with the text reveal on hover. I'm going to go into the settings of the row. And here's our three columns, one, two, and we've got nothing in number three. so. We'll select column 2 which we're working on now let's put an image behind there so we've got color gradient image or video if you prefer I'm going to do an image and I use that fruit for I guess I'll just use that thing whatever it is and as you can see you can see a little bit of it behind there probably a little bit more than I want to see because we want to be able to read that text very clearly so let's save the column changes there and then save the row changes go back into our little blurb module and let's adjust that background color just going to bring the opacity back up a little bit because it's okay to have a little hint of it in there but I want to be able to read that writing really well. In fact, I might even change that green color. I'm not too happy with that. Obviously, you put in whatever color you want. So I just want a little hint of what's going on behind there showing up. But the most important thing, obviously, is to be able to read the writing. 
Okay, so we've got that, fantastic. Now, how do we make the magic happen? Well, it really couldn't be easier with Divi. Let's go into our design tab. Let's go down to filters. Open that tab up and we'll go down to opacity or see-throughness, transparency. 100% is fully visible, 0% is invisible. So what do we want here? I'll just put that back up there. When I'm hovering over it, I want to be able to see the text in the icon. And when I'm not hovering over it, I just want to see the image. So if we go up, hover your mouse over where it says opacity here, these little icons will appear. Click on the little arrow and it's going to give you two options, a desktop and a hover. Desktop basically means when your mouse is not hovering over it and hover Yep, you guessed it, means when your mouse is hovering over it. So what do we want here? When we're hovering over it, we want it to be fully visible. That's fine. And when we're not, desktop mode, we want it to be invisible. So we're just looking at the image. Fantastic. There we go. Let's save that. And we're pretty much done. We might want to just tweak the transition time. We'll save our page changes. Exit the Visual Builder and there it is. Now that for me is happening a little too quickly. Let's just slow that down slightly and again it's really easy, no coding involved. Enable the Visual Builder again. Once loaded let's go to our little blurb module again. Hit the little cog to edit it. We're going to go over to the Advanced tab and we're going to go to Transitions. That's the time it takes for transitions to happen. You can give it a delay if you want to, but I wouldn't with this because people are going to think nothing's going to happen if you delay it. So I'm just going to take the duration up to maybe three quarters of a second. What's that? 750 milliseconds. There we go. Let's save that and see what we've got now. Save the page changes. Exit the Visual Builder. And now let's try it. There we go, that's a little more graceful. Like I say, tweak yours however you want to. I'm not sure about this green color we got going on here, but that's how easy it is to do a blurb module, icon and text reveal on hover over an image. Quite effective, nice little feature to have on your site there. So I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, share, comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're interested in web development, take a look down below. We've got some great free web development courses down there, as well as some premium courses with some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers. So do check it out. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day day.